take care of But now we're 48 hours after the jury came to their decision. Joining us from Orlando, one of the attorneys for the Trayvon Martin family, Daryl Parks. First of all, uh, Counselor, do you believe this was a fair trial? Well, Bill, I don't want to second guess this jury. However, I believe that their, their decision is not socially logical, to be honest with you. And so that's why we see the outcry that we're seeing today. What about the evidence, though? I don't know if decisions uh, of this magnitude should be based on social perceptions. The evidence, according to the jury, and one of the jurors, you may not know this, spoke out today and said um, that it was the 911 tape that five out of the six jurors believed on the 911 call. It was Zimmerman's voice asking for help. Five out of the six believed that, and one didn't know. And that was a key piece of evidence. So let's keep it in the evidentiary area. I believe that the evidence was was presented to the jury fairly. I, I believe most of the presentation was fair, and I, I really don't want to second guess the prosecution team. Um, I don't because I don't think it's proper to do, at least from my, my position. Now, but what I will tell you though. The, the main part of the case was self-defense. Who was yelling, I think, is, is really immaterial in terms of the voice. The fact that he said that the main witness, Mr. Osterman and Mr. Rowe, talked about the personal top's legs being up by the armpits. Mrs. Zimmerman says that the gun was back here, and so it was really physically impossible for him to reach back there and get the gun. We believe that he's not telling the truth. In order what happened in this case, though, that this jury decided they wanted to believe George Zimmerman. His team did a fairly good job of making him be this nice model citizen who protected your neighborhood, and yet they, dis they defined Trayvon as some thug. There was a very controversial picture that was admitted that showed Trayvon shirtless in an upward-looking picture, right, as some young 17-year-old thug black man. Well, this jury probably could never identify with Trayvon, but certainly could identify far more uh, with the image that was portrayed of George Zimmer. Besides, we all like that one neighbor who tries to make our neighborhood nice and safe. And think about the last witness who had no relevancy whatsoever to the case in chief. She was this lady who talked about some past crime of some black man who had broken to her house and that witness probably should have never been allowed, but that witness was allowed to testify. But it went on to program in this jury's mind that George Zimmerman was the guy who worked to make your neighborhood safe. Well, the, the issue in this case was whether or not he was justified in his killing of Trayvon Martin. Okay, but I'm not going to, I don't want to retry it. I'm not an attorney. But you just heard our attorneys who were following the close case very closely say that the FBI's initial investigation turned up no evidence of racism vis-a-vis uh, -vis George Zimmerman. Um, and I don't know Mr. Zimmerman. I don't know what was in mind. You don't know what was in his mind. But I want to get back to the fairness. In order to say that the jury um, didn't convict Zimmerman on racial lines, you would have to believe that six women in their hearts wanted to do harm to a black man. And I don't, I don't think that, that that can be even remotely put forth with any credibility. Do you? And and I'm not putting forth that, that they made the decision based on race. When you try a case, I know you're not a lawyer, Bill, but when you try a case, lawyers work to help the jury identify with one side or the other. That's part of the advocacy that right. we do. Right. And, and so when they see a, a, a whole case that's built upon George Zimmerman being this ideal person, his credibility, there was probably too much character evidence but, but that the, came into this case. The state of Florida that tried to allowed. impeach that counselor, but they weren't successful. And one of the reasons they weren't successful is because of the federal investigation. But anyway, look, I understand what you're saying. There's a lot of subtleties involved. But I just hope that you and, uh, and the Martin family uh, we'll accept the verdict as part of our justice system. You know, I mean, this and is And we do accept it. it. We, okay. we accept the verdict, but we disagree with it, sir. And that's fine. And we respect your opinion on that. We appreciate you coming on tonight. Directly ahead, as I said in the Talking Points memo, in order to call the verdict racist, you have to say the jurors are racist. We'll explore that very controversial proposition when we come right back.